The biggest story on quarterfinals day was the shock defeat of top seed Kento Momota. Lizzy Jia, who has yet to take a game of the world number one in six previous meetings, did the unthinkable by downing the two-time world champion in straight games. My game plan today is uh, fight everything I can. I know it's very tough uh, against Momota. You have to focus every shot, every moment. And uh, you, you can't just uh, lose focus. And when you lose focus, it, uh, it, it will make a big gap. Uh, I try to focus every point. Yeah. Game. Look at that reaction. Tells its own story, doesn't it? A seismic upset in the men's singles event. Kento Momota, the world number one, derailed at the All England. やっぱりちょっと余裕のなさから慌ててしまって簡単なミスが多かったかなと思います。この試合の緊張感を味わえたのはすごく良かったですし、また次に繋げていけたらいいかなと思います。Netherlands made headlines as well by securing two spots in the semi-finals. Selina Piek and Cheryl Seinan took 39 minutes to dispatch Ashwini Punaka and MCQ Reddy. While 26-year-old Mark Kariau overcame India's Lakshya Sen in three games. Uh, I have no words actually. Uh, I'm just still... Feels a little bit like a dream. I don't know what happened and uh, yeah, just feel amazing now. We are really happy that we won our matches and that we are here because yeah, it's still the semi-final at the All England. So I'm very, very pleased that we decided to go. The Dutch duo would meet top seeds Yuki Fukushima and Sayaka Hirota in the semi-final. The Japanese were given a scare by home pair Chloe Birch and Lauren Smith before prevailing in three games. Japan's Takeshi Kamura and Keigo Sonoda had their hands full too against England's Marcus Ellis and Chris Langwood in an exhausting 68-minute battle. Oh, outstanding! What a point to win the game! Well, it was a difficult game, but it was a difficult game for two players to win the game. It was a good game for the third, I think, you know, it's a lot that we have to look back on. Um, again, they, we knew they were going to come out with a 100% pace. Um, and we just weren't ready for it. And I think in the end, we got quite frustrated. Um, we've not been able to handle it. In the other men's doubles, Yepa Bay and Lassamol had a powered pass Nibitkwan Pwang Prophet and Tanupat Vriyankura in just their fourth outing as a pair. It's unbelievable, actually. Um, we haven't thought about that uh, when we came here. So, um, yeah, right now uh, we just, uh, yeah, I can't imagine it right now, actually. So. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say. I'm happy. <laughs> In the closely watched women's singles discipline, Pusala v Sindhu took down a tenacious Akane Yamaguchi with some relentless attacks in a grueling match that went on for 76 minutes. Oh, phenomenal. That is just magnificent. It was definitely a good, uh, tough, long match, I would say. Yeah, overall, um, it was anybody's game, but I think uh, I'm really happy to be on the winning side. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm really happy to be on the winning side. Yeah. Nozomi Okuhara was also made to work hard against Busanan Ongbangungpan in a highly charged 73 minute encounter that featured some long rallies and moments of magic. Likewise, fourth seed Rachanok Intanon was also severely tested by Mia Blickfeld. The Dane had Intanon in all sorts of trouble with some pinpoint attack but couldn't sustain her aggression to the end. I really uh, think that uh, I was. Uh dominating the match in the, in the first set and I had a good control and I was playing the rallies in a very clever way. Um, so right now I'm just disappointed that I couldn't uh, like play the whole match uh, like that. So um, yeah, I'm gonna learn from it. Over in mixed doubles, Chan Peng Soon and Go Liu Ying were relieved in defeating the informed Tom Jekyll and Delphine Del Rue, who had a string of good results this year, including their triumph in Switzerland over a week ago.
Despite losing their respective matches earlier in the day, Marcus Ellis and Lauren Smith bounced back with a huge victory over Mikkel Mikkelsen and Rika Sobi to keep their hopes of a home ground celebration alive.